Uh, in a new uh, article for The Atlantic, senior editor Ron Brownstein writes, Trump's threat to democracy is now systemic. Each time GOP leaders have had the opportunity to move away from Trump, the party has sped past the off-ramp. And CNN senior political analyst Ron Brownstein joins us now. Um, Ron, why do you say that indicting Trump could be a necessary step toward containing this threat to American democracy? It, it seems that perhaps convicting him might also be a necessary step. Necessary, but, but not sufficient. I mean, the threat that Trump has created and poses to American democracy is probably the most serious we have seen uh, since the Civil War, uh, since the years particularly before the Civil War. Um, but it's gone way beyond him, you know? I mean, we certainly saw in 2020 Republicans in the key state who are closest to administering the election, by and large, defended the integrity of their own state elections. And we saw that there were people around, immediately around Trump who have now are now raising alarms, certainly more visibly than they did back in 2020, people like Bill Barr or Mark Esper. But in between, the vast majority of both elected officials uh, and rank and file Republican voters uh, have lined up behind Trump. I mean, you know, we forget that the vast majority of House Republicans in 2020 voted to overturn the election, to reject the election results. Uh, something like two thirds of the Republican attorneys general joined a spurious lawsuit to overturn uh, the election results. We see in the CNN polling, 70% of Republicans, uh, voters, uh, still say that Joe Biden was illegitimately elected. And now 60% say they described January 6th as legitimate uh, protest. This is a broad strain now in the party. And it really does cause you to question whether if Trump is the nominee, and loses in November, whether there would be any more resistance in the Republican Party than there was in 2020 to him trying to overturn the election in anything short of another full-scale physical assault on the Capitol itself. And you write that the uh, germ of election denialism has spread so far throughout the Republican Party. Uh, you were just laying that out a few moments ago. Um, will yeah. it ever go away? Well, look, I think the election denialism is rooted in the the core de tied to the core divide in American politics. And I, I believe since really for the last 15 years or so, the fundamental fissure between the two parties uh, is between those who are comfortable with the way the country is changing demographically, culturally, and economically, uh, and those who are alienated or fearful of it. And Trump has solidified the Republican identity uh, and solidified the Republican reliance on the voters who are most uneasy about the way the country is changing. You know, his last uh, in one of his rallies after the election in 2020 um, in Georgia, he was in front of a virtually all white rural audience. And he said, this is our country and they are trying to take it away through stealing and rigging uh, of elections. And it's clear that he ties this idea of election fraud in big cities to this broader concern among his predominantly white, predominantly non-urban, predominantly conser culturally conservative base, that they are losing control of the country. And I do believe that is something that is going to outlive Trump Whatever happens to him legally or politically in 2024, it is now a part of the Republican coalition that American politics is going to have to deal with for some time. And, and Ron, um, I mean, he, he seems to be further inflaming um, the, what you're talking about here. If you look at what happened just 24 hours after his arraignment, he puts this post up on social media saying, if you come after me, we're coming after you. We're going to go after you. And that, of course, uh, prompts the special counsel to go to the judge and say, look at what he's doing here. You have to be careful about uh, sharing evidence with the Trump defense team and the de defendant because look at what he does. Um, he's also put out a social media post about Mike Pence, apparently, in the last uh, day or so. Yes, and, right. it, 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 and he was speaking about the special counsel in all sorts of ways last night at this rally in Alabama, calling him deranged and so on. It doesn't sound as though the, the judge, the legal system is going to be able to put guardrails around the former president through this process because he seems to well, be delighting in all of this and using to. this to inflame his base further. Yeah. Well, the legal system is, is going to face the burden because other Republicans simply have not accepted it. I mean, Trump has taken the lesson from his, what, eight years now on the national stage that there is essentially no boundary he can cross that can cause a critical mass of other Republicans to try to convince their voters that this is too far. I mean, if you think about all of the behavior that is outlined in this indictment, even the discussion of using the army to quell protests if there's an attempt, you know, if there was an attempt to overturn uh, the election, 
astonishingly few Republicans outside of those on the periphery of the presidential race, Chris Christie, Asa Hutchinson, Will Hurd, have said publicly, this is behavior that it disqualifies you from being president. Again, Mike Pence has suggested that, certainly. But, you know, from, from a Ron DeSantis or a Tim Scott, they are much more likely to echo Trump in saying that he is being, uh, you know, the victim of a weaponized Justice Department. And I think he has very clearly taken the lesson that there is no point that he can go to that other important voices in the party will try to, in effect, excommunicate him or say he has gone too far. And he believes that in the end, they will fall in line behind him. And certainly, that's been a good bet so far. And we've seen it, it, it to a remarkable degree from figures like Kevin McCarthy in the past few days. Yeah, the fear is that they'll be excommunicated by him. 